Martina. And Simon. And this is our third month in Japan. Welcome to Eat Your Sushi. Hey, guess what I did this weekend? What did you do this Something weekend? that you didn't take part of. I played Fallout 4. I went to the Sailor Moon fan club event that I signed up for and I got my official Sailor Moon membership card. Hallelujah. Why do you have your signature on the back as if someone's going to steal your card and try to forge it? Like, um, they're going to be like, <laughs> hello. Oh, let me match up the signature as if it matters. Anyways, I went to this big event. I didn't know what to expect and I should have expected the obvious, which was that everything was in Japanese. Okay, yep. <laughs> That was good expectations. I think I understood about 5% of it. You know who I met on stage? The okay. real voice actress for Sailor oh, Moon was there. Oh, the voice actress for Sailor Moon. Yes, right. and Tuxedo Mask was there. Okay. And it was really weird because she like said from behind the stage, like, Sailor Moon! So the first 20 to 30 minutes was kind of bizarre okay. because I guess I forgot that this is a fan club event. They were kind of like talking about the upcoming sneak peek things that you could buy. Oh. So like Sailor Moon necklaces. You and can buy this. Like Sailor Moon rings. This. And it was kind of weird to you me. You have paid for a ticket to go into a place where they could tell you other things you can buy. But then we got to see the entire episode that was being released before everybody else. So we watched the Sailor Moon Crystal like season three. So what happened in this episode? It's probably out by now, mm -hmm. but it's when you meet um, Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune, but they don't quite know who it is yet. Mm -hmm. And they meet Sailor Saturn, and mm -hmm. she gets attacked by this gigantic cat monster. Do you really care? And then we had Tuxedo Mask sing a bunch of songs. And then the people who sang the original, like, Super Sailor Stars, as well as the theme song came on. Oh. And then the weirdest thing ever happened. You guys know the main Moon Pride song? Oh, yeah, totally. By the J-pop group saying this totally wrong, Momo, you're a clover. <laughs> I, I really don't know them very well. But apparently, people in the audience did because everyone at this event was given a random ticket. So uh -huh. you couldn't like sit with your friends. The band comes out and people pop up like gophers with these glow sticks suddenly like scattered and they start like screaming the names of the people and they do this weird like thrusty dance like back and forth like this. And they knew like every single fan chant that matched up. Like I didn't know the Sailor Moon song had a fan chant, but apparently like just like a K-pop concert and they were like on their like little fold out chairs being like screaming the names of the girls and stuff. So what you're telling me is that the people that actually went there, like mm -hmm. a lot of them weren't actually Sailor Moon Moon fans or fans of the band that just bought memberships to the Sailor Moon event so In they could attend this. See. So they wind up joining this just to see two songs yep. from this band. That's how hardcore they are. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is pretty important for you to see. This is my official um, lip gloss lock. It's a great story. You're just jealous. If there oh was a God, Final I'm Fantasy so club, you would join it too. Hell yeah, I would See? join if there was a Final Fantasy club. Is there a Final Fantasy club? Wait, tell me. Do you know if there's a Final Fantasy Let club? Let us know. I need to know how to join this Final Fantasy club. And you know what? You won't be invited to come because you never played Final Fantasies like I did. I've watched them over your shoulder. No, you haven't. Which yeah. one did you watch me play? Mm. Oh, 13. That doesn't count. 13 was terrible. Why are you wearing that wig? I'm not wearing a wig. I, can't, I came this way. I'm modern Sailor Moon. What are you doing as modern Sailor Moon? I'm going to the Sailor Moon 20th anniversary fan club party by myself. It's right. okay, Rose is coming with me to wait in line, and then she's not invited in. I'm a good friend. You know, Sailor Moon teaches up with like everybody else, especially modern day Sailor Moon. <sighs> I just waited in line over there because I am Sailor Moon number 1789. I got my single serving ticket into the event in which I will be so lonely, but that's okay. I need to open up everything and touch everything. I have like an hour to kill now before the event starts. And there's someone just up like Luna, but not dressed up like a cat costume, like human Luna. And she's got like great big ones and really sassy leopard print shoes on, which is amazing because she's a cat. Okay, more updates later. Straight up metal. Feel it. What? That would be expensive normally. Oh my god, oh my god. Concert's about to start soon, and we are waiting in line to get a picture on the moon. On the moon? On the moon? This is amazing! <laughs> so beautiful! And the little details. Oh my god! <laughs> It's more beautiful! Oh, I just look boring! Oh. 
<laughs> so a few days ago, we were out in Shibuya and we were waiting at a restaurant to get him, but the lineup was really, really long. So We've learned our lessons, by yes. the way, about like Saturday and Friday nights. Bad idea. Bad you ideas. Can't it. So I decided to try to find another restaurant. And I was walking around Shibuya and I had a really bad uh, cramp in my foot. And I was like limping as I was walking. And right when I crossed the street, a girl walked up to me and she said, Special massage, special massage, special massage. And I thought to myself, Oh my God, this girl is so incredibly perceptive. She saw that my foot hurt a lot, so she offered me a massage that's really, really kind of her. Sweet, sweet lamb sign. Right, and then she's like, special massage. And I thought to myself, wait a second. It's not just my foot she wants to massage. It's probably my back as well because I was holding my back at the same. So I thought this sweet, was a really amazing perceptive Simon. girl that noticed the pain in my foot. Okay, I know that what kind Did of massage. Did it ever hit in for you? Yes, I know what kind of massage she was trying to offer me. What I'm kind of concerned about is as soon as you and I are separated in any way. Like 10 seconds. Like illegal things seem to happen to me. When I was in New York, people gave me drugs without me knowing it. Mm -hmm. And in here, like people offer me special massage. When we went to the Dominican Public, as soon as you and I separated for a little bit, people were offering me cocaine like it was nobody's business. They would literally say, oh, mademoiselle, miss, miss, take a look at this beautiful view. And I'd be like, wow. And they'd be like, so do you want to buy some cocaine? Now I'm concerned, is there something about this that looks like I'm inviting crime? What kind of a person do, you want me to do I look is. like? Why me? I I'm a sweet boy. I don't think it's just you. I think it's just that any guy on their own, that's what happens. Well, maybe if I dressed differently, maybe if I didn't wear a Pusheen sweater in public, then I wouldn't be offered cocaine. If you wore a Pusheen sweater in public, I think you'd be fine. <laughs> Everyone would be like, that dude. What are you trying to say, son? This ain't gangster enough for you? We also had matching shoes on today. Can you be flexible enough? Do it! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. fine. Matchy shoes as well. Yeah. You thought I was joking. Oh, now my leg joking. is stuck like okay, this. Okay, well, so you're gonna have to get that down. Let's just cut away. Oh, my leg cramped. Oh. Oh. Special massage? Oh. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Let me try now. Okay. Girl, okay. Can it hold? So I was in the garden, I'm, I'm gardening now, and I heard people going, yoo-hoo, hello, yoo-hoo, and I'm looking around, and then I turn, and by our gate is our neighbors, and our neighbors came over and said to me that they got tomatoes from their friend's farm, and they wanted to share it with us. That is so lovely. Martina came in, and she was almost crying. She's so moved. This neighborhood is wonderful. That's Becky. really nice. It's wonderful. It's be I, because we brought them omiyagi back from Oshima. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We now we're in the mode. And once now I we start, got, Once I start learning how to cook cakes in my oven, I'm gonna make I'm gonna cake. You're gonna make everyone in this neighborhood a goddamn cake. <laughs> <laughs> the people, <laughs> the people who side us are really good at cooking because every time we park our bikes, we like smell different things. I'm like, is that banana bread? Like, is that cherry? Cake? Is that? So I'll probably be out caked. My garden's coming along. Ooh. Speaking of J-pop bands, it's time for the weekly challenge! As you guys already know, K-pop groups sometimes have very unique names, but having since moved to Japan, we discovered that J-pop groups one-up them, I mean, insanely. Like, there is a group, I'm gonna tell you a name right now. Okay. The band's name is Bump of Chicken. Bump of Chicken. When I first saw this, I thought it was a restaurant yes. that they, like, oh, where's this, I like chicken, like, I'm looking for some fried. No, Bump of Chicken is actually the name of a group. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have two words. It's gonna be behind us on the screen, kind of like the subway right game. One is a J-pop group, one is a random phrase. We're gonna have to guess which one of those is a J-pop group. We have seven questions. The first one to four points wins. It's time for J-pop or, or not. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh no. my god. Super, Super Beaver or Fish Friday? What? Neither. Can I vote for no, neither? Can I be like, those, no? None of those is a band. Okay. I hope Super Beaver is no, a No, 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 no. Okay. Fish like, Friday fish sounds Friday like a really curvy like, thing. Like, it's like it's kind of clever. A, it's a restaurant. It's a like Fish Friday. Fish Friday sounds clever because it's no that way. Fast. That's There's a no way. Way. I'm going for Super Beaver. Oh, no. I don't think they know what beavers are in Japan. <laughs> Your mom is a Super Beaver. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going for Fish Friday. I'm going for Super Beaver. Okay, Fish Friday. Super Beaver, Super who Beaver. is Which right? Which one is the J-pop band? Super Beaver. Yeah! <laughs> it's no! ridiculous and great. No! Oh my god. Do they know what Beaver implies in different Super slangs? Super Beaver is an actual J-pop group. That's amazing. Really? I There's a this. bunch of people who are like, we are Super Beaver! Super Beaver! <laughs> what? All right. Okay. One zero for me. This is great. Okay, next one. Oh my god. Cushions, Cushions or pillows? Or pillows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cushions or pillows? Cushions or, or pillows. pillows. I'm gonna go for cushions. I'm gonna go for cushions as well. No! no really? <laughs> pillows? Pillows is a J-pop group? All right. Okay. Super Beaver pillows. <laughs> Super Beaver pillows. All right, next one. Next one. 
Kiss oh my, my god, I can't even read these. Lick my face. Kiss my, my F FT2. Lick, lick my face. Lick my face. Lick my face. Lick my face. Oh, Mr. Harris. It could be oh, lock no, my face. Mr. Harris. I'm going to say that Kiss Me 52 is a J pop group. I'm going to say that as well. Okay. Oh, that wasn't fair. Now Simon's up one. So that's two points to one point. Next. Kiss Me 52. One, one okay, okay rock. rock. One, one two, two rock. rock. I choose neither. One two. Okay, one two one. rock makes sense. Well, it's like it's. I am the one two rock. It's like destiny. It is my destiny. But people I like am okay. The chosen one two rock. Like okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. One da, okay da, da, da. rock. Okay. One, I'm saying rock. one okay rock is a J-pop group. I'm saying one two rock is a J-pop group. One okay rock. Is a J-pop group? <gasps> oh no. We're tied now. Did we just tie it up? Two, two. Did we just tie this up? Two, this two. game just got intense. Okay. Cow juice and milk? No, cow capital caps lock on juice or milk with an exclamation point in the center. How do we know it's milk? It's that mmm, look a. Wow, this mm, is a tough one. Okay. Cow juice. MLK, Martin Luther King. They're very passionate about the Martin part. Martin! Luther King. That was really loud and you scared me. I don't like it. I vote for Cow milk. Juice or milk? Milk is a J-pop group. <laughs> M uh, M apostrophe LK is a, a J-pop group. I think I think M L K. Are you sure you want to take that risk? Are you sure you want to take that risk right now? Cow juice seems so dumb. Mm, I'm going but for you milk. did get super fever. I'm going for milk. Okay. Milk. Milk. Okay, okay it is. Three three. Shoot, turn to three okay. off the path. Okay. Okay. Next one. All right. Next, next one. Next one. Doctor Dr. People and Mr. Children. <laughs> Dr. People. Mr. 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 Children sounds like a creepy pedophile. Okay. That can't be right. He's like, Mr. Mr. Children. Hello, Mr. Children. You get into my music van. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you my super beaver. I'm not going to say mine out loud because when I think out loud, Simon steals my answer. Okay. We're going to do a three, two, one and choose wait, which wait, one's wait. which. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I can't lose. I don't want to lose. I feel so bad when I lose. I never want to lose. <laughs> three, two, one, and we're going to say who we think is a J pop group. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Three, three two, two, one. one. Dr. Dr. People. people. Mr. Children. What? Oh! Mr. Children? Really? There's no Ooh, way. The told you that's a good name. Mr. Children? Mr. Children. That's really creepy and unpleasant. That's weird. I don't like that. No, that's bad. That's bad. Feel bad. Feel, Feel bad. bad. Right here. Happy ending, sexy zone. No. <laughs> Both Are you ready for my sexy zone? Super Beaver sexy zone? Happy endings. There should Super be a collaboration Beaver. between Super Beaver and sexy zone and call the sexy beaver zone. Are you ready? Three, two, one, sexy zone. Sexy zone. Oh no. It's the rapid fire end. Apparently we tied and so we cannot end things in time. No. One of us needs to be crowned. Somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. So Dan is going to give us a word or a phrase mm -hmm. and we have to go three, two, one and just shout off if it's J-pop or not. Exile. Three, two, one, J-pop. Jam for Jam Three, two, one, not. not. <laughs> Three, two, one, J-pop. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, J-pop. Can you stop copying That's, me? I, you I, get your own answers. I, I, I know that one. Three, two, one, J-pop. <gasps> Three, two, one, J-pop. Yes, 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 yes. I broke my chair. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Is it K-pop? Rain is, but Rain is. is He's a K-pop singer. He's a K-pop singer. He's not J-pop. But he sings in Japan. No, it doesn't matter. He's not J-pop. He's no, not J-pop. He's not J-pop. That's technical. Oh. It's a technicality. Oh, you technically lose. You're such a super beaver. <laughs> There's a happy ending for that one right there. Only if it's in the sexy zone. <laughs> We are trying the cantaloupe frappuccino the at cantaloupe Starbucks. The cantaloupe melon cream frappuccinos. I'm not a fan of cantaloupe, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. I saw them scooping some chunky things in here, and look at the size of our straws. These are not normal Starbucks straws. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay. I don't think this is an average frappuccino. Oh, they're yummy. It tastes more like melon than cantaloupe. Wait, that cantaloupe like is a melon. For some reason, I thought cantaloupe was the orange pumpkin. I thought oh, we were gonna have orange pumpkin frappuccino. No. I agreed to this video because I thought this was an orange pumpkin frappuccino. I tricked you by not doing anything at all. <laughs> there are like actual chunks of cantaloupe in this. That was really good. Mm. Wow. Mm. I think this might be the yummiest frappuccino I've ever had at Starbucks. This kind of reminds me of a bubble tea. Mm. Like it's got those mm. um, little jelly bits inside of it. And then like as you move it around, there's like chunks of cream. 
this is definitely Starbucks's equivalent of a bubble tea. I know you come to Japan when you want to like try Japanese traditional things, but <clears throat> all the stuff they do at like the, the McDonald's and the mm -hmm. Starbucks's and mm -hmm. the Burger Kings and the KFCs are always like changing up the menu. It's really exciting. It's like collecting Pokemon. Did you get a frappuccino in your eye? No, I just got a brain freeze. Mm, I haven't had that since I was a child. Enjoy that. I really recommend like checking out to see if they have a menu. I hope this is there when you come. How do you stop brain freezes? You don't. You just deal with it. Well, there's a trick. Are you supposed to like put the roof of your mouth? Do brain freezes last longer when you get old? It's, it's so time for Martina's punishment. You know what, I feel like because we've been here now for three months, I'm kind of looking back on the past and I really miss one of our first punishments. I think it's time for you to wear Queen Fat Fat Taco Head. That's not fair, my hair is so cute today. From now on, everything that Queen Fat Fat Taco says, she will be addressed as Queen Fat Fat Taco Head. Mm. Martina is no longer in attendance. You know what's funny about this? You remember that uh, YouTube Google thing that we wound up doing? We did a challenge and I lost and I had to wear Queen Fat Fat Taco Head, but none of you will ever see that video. Oh, you're so cute. Oh no, you can even see your little mouth in Careful, squid eat meat. <clears throat> do squid eat meat? Do squid? What does squid eat? There you go. Oh, you're so cute. You, 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 you on the losing the chip up challenge. No chip up the do. Do do Should I wash my hands before oh. this? The first question we're gonna answer today comes from Om Nom Nom Nom. This is a great name and very relevant at the moment. And Om Nom 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 wants to know: Is using chopsticks left-handed socially acceptable? I would like to say that I really feel like people are hyper concerned about what yes, people think that they're doing. Exactly. I understand. Like it would be bad if you went to a restaurant in Japan or in Korea and took chopsticks and stuck and them in your them mouth. And you're like, I'm a warrior. So <laughs> then maybe it might you know. be a little bit awkward. But if you're just eating at a restaurant, I don't think anybody at the restaurant is looking at how you eat so you don't have to be embarrassed. People are going to the restaurant because they want to eat and mm -hmm. they want to get out. Like think about it from your own perspective. When you're at a restaurant at home, do you watch how other people use your Like utensils? do you go for a hamburger and are you like secretly checking out everyone else? Oh my else? god, that person at row 32. Don't be too sensitive about it. Relax. Everyone has their own thing that they're doing. Nobody gives mm -hmm. a shit about how you're eating. Also, I know when we were in Korea, there were a lot of people that were like super hypercritical and concerned about things that they had read about that were considered to be uh -huh. good or bad table manners. Right. Like for example, if you're blowing your nose at the table in Korea, it's considered to be rude. It's gonna be terrible and everyone's gonna look at you and now, oh my God, you're gonna be deported. Here's what I'm gonna say. Blowing your nose, I think at any table, anywhere when eating, is not the greatest thing in the right. world. But in Korea, if you're eating hot soup and yeah. your nose is running down your face, people would prefer yeah. if you blew your nose. And you don't snot all over the food. Exactly, uh -huh. I think that people read certain things online and then they think like, this means it can never ever happen. Uh -huh. Like don't be so uh, concerned about all right. these kind of like hyper the rules, the majority you know? of people do not care about what you are doing. They will not pay attention to how you're eating. Just live your life and you'll be fine. So, we're having a date day. So we decided to go to this magical place that we found in the woods over there. It's so cute. Turns out they do crepes. And we have like a place to park of our bikes and it's like this quiet, wonderful, woodsy area. Like, look at how lovely and serene it is. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's nice. This crepes better be good. Let's go. Date day. We're on a date day. Can we see guinea pigs today? Yep. Maybe. Then we're gonna go to row boats with the ducks. Row the boat, boy. Row, row the, the boat. boat. Almost died. Nature. The second question comes from Suhel Ew on Twitter. He says, since you came to Japan, will you continue TLDRs in Japan or are you guys going to do a new segment? But I feel like since we've came to Japan, like we're really new here still. And yeah. I don't think that like we're comfortable enough to really dig deeply into the culture or like any of the like political ramifications of, of something or another. Like we're still brand new. Everything is like sparkly and awesome at the moment. I kind of just want to experience that before we start like really digging into like harder, more sensitive topics. I think what we will be doing, and we've talked about this before about pet culture, is mm -hmm. we want to do TLDRs on things that we've directly experienced. Right. So, for example, bringing a pet to Japan, that's a really complicated yeah. experience. We've gone through that. Right. So, we're going to do like a TLDR on like how to bring pets to Japan. Right. Because a lot of our TLDRs were anecdotal. We talked about things that we experienced or mm -hmm. things from talking with friends. We don't have that many experiences yet, so we can't really share that many stories mm -hmm. related to specific topics but yet. But as we experience more in Japan, we'll be sure to share more through TLDRs. Queen Fat Fat Togo Head, what is it? 
like being a squid in Japan. It's really dangerous, actually. Oh, is it now? Yeah, people are always out to get you. There's always like all these like sushi masters that are like, Queen Pafat Taco Head, you're so hot, you look so good, Come you should be in my, my restaurant. restaurant. Come on, girl, let me get you in here. And I'm always like, no, I won't be a part of that. So we're with friends right now and they highly recommended 7-Eleven's Pizza Mun. The Pizza Mun! Let's see what it looks like. So it's like a steam bun. So it's a bun and any one of these buns are called mun according to what they say. Are you filthy liars? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Maybe. This is the Pizza Mun! I think I really wanted to try this. I saw it before. Yeah. Please tell me it's just filled with pizza. Are you gonna share with me? Because I That's feel like- That's just filled with pizza. You're not gonna share it with me. This is like cheese and tomato sauce and caramelized onions. What? Oh man. This looks like it's really bad for us. And really good. This is like a Hot Pocket, except in like bun format. McCain did the steam oh, pockets. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna- You wanna bite? Share it. Eat it. Just bite it. Just bite. Just bite it. Mmm. Eat oh some Oh my on. god. <laughs> no. You should not have introduced this to us. <laughs> no. And since our last video one of getting 10,000 likes, we are going to answer another question about Dan. And this one comes from Luna Stardust, who says, Hi Dan, I'm from England. Well, why did Whoa. I try to do a British accent? Go for it. I'd like to hear your British accent, please. Hi, Dan! Oh my god. Can you do like a normal male I don't go? know. I, I, I just really, do it. It's Feel gonna be it. really offensive. Uh, right? It's not gonna be offensive. You're just gonna be bad at it. Go for it. Hi, Dan. I'm from. <laughs> okay, no. I, I literally. Just I do literally, it. Oh, power cannot. of British reading. You've read so many. You've watched so many. <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult. <laughs> okay. I give you the. <laughs> okay, okay. Do it. Hi, Diane. <laughs> Diane. What is a Diane? <laughs> I'm like, hi, Diane. Howdy, boy. Okay, I'm just gonna do my regular. No, you're not. You're gonna be <laughs> British. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> it's really difficult. Okay. Think of Rachel Q. My name, my is, name is Rachel, Rachel Q. Q. Go, okay, do it. Do it, Rachel Q. Hi, Dan. I'm from England too, and I want to know what is the one English food you miss the most while in Japan. Hmm. Dan, what food would you miss? Are you missing British food? I'm missing British bacon with uh, in a bacon sandwich with HP sauce. A bacon sandwich what? with HP sauce. So, is a bacon sandwich just bread, bacon, and HP sauce, and another bread? What? Is that it? Is it for breakfast? Anytime. Anytime. But the HP sauce is Is that just... key? Yeah, that's pretty key, yeah. Huh. And HP sauce and bacon. We have HP sauce, but it's like usually on the table at a restaurant when you order like steak, there's like HP sauce. Yeah, but like... then you see like the ketchup, ketchup and everything and else. Ketchup and then everything. Get that. <laughs> Coated I in ketchup. barely ever use HP sauce. Huh. That sounds pretty amazing, actually. I don't think that squids eat bacon. How would you underneath the sea? Like, how do you crisp up your bacon? Mm. So use... create like an air bubble fortress of it. And then from there, we crisp up the bacon using like the mm. hot volcanic mm. waters that pour up from the bottom. Mm. And you just kind of like put it over like that. It's quite hot, actually.
I bid for something and I don't know what it is. I think it's tuna. I don't know how much, but I, I'm, I'm just going for it. I'm gonna say thank you to New and Lamb from Vancouver, Washington, not Vancouver, BC, for this awesome little picture here that we're gonna put on our wall. There's a Vancouver in America? Yeah, Vancouver, Washington. Blew my squid mind. Do squids have minds? Of do course have, we have minds. Do they have consciousness and awareness <sighs> and self-reflection? Thank you very much to Annalena from Germany for the beautiful cherry blossom painting and for the very heartfelt letter. I'm happy to hear that you are getting better. Also, thank you to Taxidermy Rampage for the very cute picture of Spudgy Mimers on the CN Tower. Thank you, Ava. This is a fantastic picture and I am very happy for the snacks. As you know, we like coffee crisp and a Mars bar and... Smarties I mm -hmm. haven't had in a very long time. When you're a kid, did you ever take Smarties and lick them and then apply them to your lips like lipstick? No. Why really? Why, why would anybody do that? Because then your lips are covered in candy. No, I just eat the candy. And then it's like stained red and then you can lick it and your lips are sweet. You are a weird child. Please let me know if anyone else did that besides me. You are me. a weird, smelly child. I was a baby squid. There's nothing I could do about it. <laughs> How do baby squid, do even baby squids have lips? Thank you to Paige and Cole from Florida for knitting a scarf which I would think in Florida, have you ever had a scarf? But she knit a scarf for me. It's her very first scarf she's ever knit in her entire life because she wanted me to be warm in Japan. And it was so ah. sweet of you. And I know you're worried that I didn't get it in time, but it is still cold. And I will definitely be wearing this around the it's house. It's pretty cold lately. Thank you to Jacob and Tina from Florida for the Cheetos Sweetos. I did not know that Cheetos make sweet stuff. And I'm gonna try this for the first time ever. Who has milk? This tastes, this smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh my gosh, I need milk right now. These are shaped like eggs. Yup. Oh my God. Cinnamon sugar puffs. I'm gonna eat this whole bag. This is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, except in much puffier format. And thank you so much. Actually, you sent me two things that I can bake with, including Kirby and like Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask cookie cutters, which is awesome because I just got an oven. And this lovely, thoughtful thing from Etsy. It's a Sailor Moon necklace. It is so, so beautiful. Thank you so much. And Tina, I like your name. So Rose is visiting from Korea and we decided the most important thing to do at like midnight was bake a cake in my <laughs> new oven that I've never used before. I think it went really well. I think so. I, I think, think it was like we were missing half the ingredients, but like yeah. burr, 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 burr. <laughs> beautiful. Oh my God. Look at it. It's flawless. We could sell this. My God, we should go into business together. Wait, we were in business <laughs> together. Oh my God. Look, hey, listen. That looks right like a cake that was like me. run over by a tractor. <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> it was complicated. We didn't have sugar. We didn't have the right yogurt. It's we didn't lie. have. We had sugar. We had yogurt. No, we <laughs> used Splenda. We didn't have any sugar. But anyways, it tastes good. It tastes it, amazing. It does. It it's, tastes really good. It's super moist. We could be lying though. <laughs> we would never lie about something Taste like that. Taste division is not a thing. Look, try some. The two of us like refuse to try. We're like, uh. uh. <laughs> but look, my new oven. All oven-y and stuff. And thank you so much to Lindsay from Connecticut for the amazing package. <laughs> Lots of macaroni and cheese. There's some, like, I've never actually seen the Pirate's Booty one before. It's not just macaroni and cheese. It's Annie's macaroni and cheese, which is, like, super special and amazing. Mm. And she sent me this really lovely and thoughtful little tiny cat, sleeping cat. Oh. And she gave me her Sailor Moon pin, which I actually oh. really, really love, and a Sailor Moon bracelet. I'm and guess what else? I'm noticing a predominant theme in this. Money for capsule toys. Really? Yes. So you can't take it from me. Well, you know what? I don't actually think that stores accept money from squid. It's not, it's of no value to you. You can't go to a store and buy anything as a squid. I could buy a person and I could ask that person to go to the store for me. No one's gonna listen to you because you're a giant talking squid. Speaking of capsule toys, last week we wound up asking the skill testing question of where Cheese Lady was from. Cheese Lady. And the winner of that is Paula Dubon, who says, oh my God, the Cheese Lady. You guys met the Cheese Lady in Buchan from the Hyundai department store. Little by little, the Cheese Lady started speaking and Martina about cheese. She even hugged Martina from behind. Yep, she snuck up behind me like a secret boyfriend while I was in gave the cheese section Korean and gave hug. me a drama back hug. Congratulations, Paula. If you are the winner, make sure you send us an email and we will mail out your capsule toy as soon as possible. Yeah, which is actually over here because it's no longer in Fat Fat Taco Head. No longer in your head. Yeah, I spat it out. Like, you spat it out and there like, you go. Yep. So for this week's skill testing question, we ask you, what two Korean TV shows were we 
want. Wait, you were on a Korean TV show? I didn't think that Squid I was. were on I Korean was TV indeed. Shows. Do you mean Martina? What two shows were Martina and I on? Not yeah. you. Because yes. you weren't on any shows ever. That's what I meant. I there meant what TV show were you and Martina on? If you know the answer, leave it in the comment section below and you might just win a capsule toy. We were on more than two, so you have a pretty good chance of yes, guessing do. two. Hey, you know what's exciting? Tell me. Tomorrow we're flying to Korea to get our animals. Oh, yeah. By next week's uh, Eat Your Sushi, yeah. we will have spongy memers here, so we won't be able to actually have a regular scheduled Eat Your Sushi since we'll be Because we're going to be, be gone in Korea. in Korea the whole week, so yeah. we're not going to be able to film that. But the week after that, we'll be back to Eat yeah. Your Sushi. I think we're also going to put up a special edition video of just our reuniting, so... So you're just going to see us sobbing throughout the entire video. Just should be pretty great. Ugly sobbing. And Spongy's going to be like, Whoa, calm down, I don't feel like my God. I, you know, like I'm actually week. really scared. I hope Spongy remembers who we are. Like, do, do, do you think that he's... Mind? Like, do you think he'll still have a reaction? Like, will he smell us? remember like I'm oh really... he'll smell you and remember all right <laughs> set himself up for that one you stinky beaver <laughs> oh wait super beaver sorry <laughs>